everyone. Welcome to my channel. Well, it's still the month of October right here, and it's really cold this morning, but the sun is shining. It's actually zero, zero degrees Celsius right now in Fahrenheit. I'll put what that is right over there. So it's a little chilly, but uh, this should be okay for a review because today we're going to take a look at this Bugs 12 EIS. I don't know how many people have asked me to review the Bugs 12 EIS, so here it is. I'm going to review it. Have you seen this thing? Let me bring it closer. There you go. There's the Bugs 12 EIS. It's pretty much the same as the Bugs 20 EIS, except this one is smaller and foldable. So let's check it out. And this is what it looks like all unfolded. It is a foldable drone. You know, you can make it quite small if you want, but uh, let me bring it closer. There you go, that's what it looks like. So it's pretty much like a normal MJXRC drone. What I mean by that is on the bottom, you will have landing lights. Can you see them at the back? MJXRC likes to do that right there. Landing lights and an optical flow right there. You also have a spot for a micro SD card right over here. So like all my reviews, what I'm gonna do is right over here. I'm going to put all the features. So you should see the features listed for this drone right now because a lot of times when I do these reviews, I forget to tell you what all the features are. So they should all be listed on the side. Check them out. All right, let's go fly this baby. All right, first things first, let's turn on our controller, power switch on, and let's make sure on the side it says GPS on. So that switch there has to be pushed all the way to the top. Next thing to do is power on our drone. Let's press down the button, see the lights. I don't know if you can see them, and it comes to life. There we go. And now that other sound we heard is just a connection of the controller to the drone. Now the drone has to sit there for a little bit until we hear a beep. The beep usually comes from the controller. Hang on a sec. That two sounded beep you just heard means you can now do your compass calibration. All right, so now that we have, <laughs> all right, that's, it's talking to me. Now that we have the drone and the controller connected, let's check and make sure that we attach our phone that I have right here. Let's attach our phone to the Wi-Fi of the drone. And you can see on my screen here, it says Wi-Fi Drone 4E, so we're all good. Next, we're gonna start the app. The app we're gonna use is the MRC Pro app, so I am gonna to touch that over here. Now, let me show you the settings. First, I'm gonna go into the settings for the camera just to show you the settings on here. First thing you can do is 4K, 30 frames per second, or you could do 1080p 60. And for your photos, you have all those settings, quite a lot of photos. You can also format your card on here. It's pretty darn good. Let me go out of that. So what I have to do now is the geo calibration. So let me do that. I'll just do the drone geo calibration once, twice, three times one way, once, twice, three times the other way. And there we go. I have uh, like a green solid light down here. Solid lights are good. So green there and uh, red up front. I think that's good. This is an MJXRC drone. All MJXRC drones do this. You take your two joysticks here. Can you see it up here? And I'm going to pull them down and to the left. So like this and the light should blink. I can't really see it, but I'm sure the GoPro picks it up. It's so cold out here that the wind is blowing on my eyes and they're watering. I got water coming out of my eyes here, so I can't see anything. So on my, and my nose is sniffling. I apologize for that in advance. So on my controller here, it says I have 14 satellites, so I'm ready to go. To make the prop spin, you have to press this red button here, press it in, and then take your left joystick and push up, and you'll fly up. Here we go. Watch this. I'll do it nice and close. Try not to chop my face off. Press the button. They spin. Whoa, <laughs> that, that spins faster than I thought, and take it up. There we go. It's up there. The wind is blowing. You can probably hear it in my mic. But uh, let me walk around and see what it looks like. It's pretty good. Very stable. Yeah, so I think we can fly this baby. Okay, I've got the video on. It's recording. This is what I look like. And uh, here's my back walking around here. And let me fly it towards me as I walk this way. Should be coming. How does that look? There it is on the side of me, spin it around, bring it up. There's my head. So now I'm gonna try some flight features with this baby. Okay, the drone's are way up there. I'm down here. You watch, I can move the camera, look down, or I can make it look up at me. So it has that good camera action and it doesn't beep, which is great. So now looking at my controller, the drone, I'm gonna go into the options, the flight modes, and I'm gonna pick follow me and I'm just gonna slide this little bar and it should go in the follow me mode and there we are. It's in follow me mode. All right, following me this way is a tree there. Whoa. <laughs> I don't think it likes to follow me that low, but it is going pretty low. That is weird. That is weird. I walked up a hill and it's still at the same height. So 
It's coming at me. Let's see. Is it going to make it under this tree? Is it going to make it under this tree? This is going to be tight. Let's see, can it get under here? It's coming. It's Where are you? Where are you? It's chopping stuff. <laughs> okay, I put the drone way up in the air, so it has to follow from much higher this time. So I'm going to walk by these trees again. It should fly over them this time and not, uh, <laughs> not try to eat the tree. All right, so I'm under this brightly colored one. Love the fall colors. So there we go. I'm walking through it. How is the quality of the image? Don't hit that tree. Please don't hit that tree. Don't hit that tree. Oh my God, it's just going to miss the tree. Just going to miss the tree. Good. <laughs> All right. So follow me works well. See, this is the this is the this is the embankment that I came up, and the follow me got all messed up because it was at the old height. So I'm gonna go down it now. <laughs> going back. All right. Okay. Next one I'm gonna try out is the orbit me. So I'll hit that little option button again. Orbit flight. Slide it. You have to set the parameters up. It's going to orbit right now. So it's going to orbit a set orbit circle. And I think I have enough room here. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, I think I'm just right. Okay, good. <laughs> it's kind of scary. It was going for those trees away over there. It's pretty far. I did make the radius quite large. Is it going to miss these trees on this side? Oh, don't hit the trees. Don't hit the trees. Oh, this is looking scary. Here, let me just show you how close it's coming to everything. I'm getting close to it. It just missed all those trees back there. So I'm over here. It will continue orbiting for uh, the location that I set it at. So it doesn't really matter that I'm moving. All right, it's probably making a pretty cool image though. If I walk over here and I run alongside it as it's orbiting, you can see me in the image. So I'll go along with it. Actually, I'll bring the camera down. There we go. Oh, maybe too low. <laughs> so here, here you have this guy running alongside a drone. It almost looks like I'm trying to chase my drone to, uh, <laughs> to get it back into my control, but now it's just orbiting. Underneath the drone, right down here, you have landing lights, so I can turn them on remotely right here with this button. So here we go, landing lights. There we are. Pretty sweet. Easy to find the drone when you have the landing lights on and off. Now the Bugs 20 EIS had a slow control on it that I called tripod mode because it was so slow. So let me try that out here. So let me turn it this way. I'll go along this little line down here on the ground. All right, I'm out front. Here we go, full speed. So that's moving at a good clip. That is the fast speed. Let me bring it back and try the slow speed and see if it has the tripod mode. All right, so the tripod mode would be the slow speed. So let me press the speed control in, listen. I hear it, oh, there it is, I heard a beep. Well, let's see what happens. Let's go forward. Yes, I've got it full speed. That's full speed on this baby. Look at that thing. That is not fast at all. Look at that go. So it's like walking speed. So in the drone lingo, when something is that slow, it's almost like I'm walking and holding the drone on a tripod. So we call that tripod mode. And if you look at the video footage coming out the front, you'll see it's very smooth. Even if I turn it, watch this, I'm gonna turn it to the left and you should get nice smooth video footage. This is the best way to film with a drone. It's so awesome. Look at that. Go over the leaves, go over the grass. And if I get in front of it, you'll see my little feet. <laughs> There it is. If I fall down, we're, all right, let's take that up higher to me as we're in tripod mode. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, the next thing I'll do is I'm gonna take it up, take some photos and video and show you the quality. Here we go. See you later, drone.
right, the drone's away over there. I'm going to hit return to home and see what happens. I see it going up, 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 up. You probably can't see it in my little camera up top, but it's a little dot going up over there. It's rising, 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 rising. And it should come back to me. And here it comes. Here it comes. It's coming back. It's over top. Here, I'm going to put the landing lights on so it's brighter. There we go. Landing lights are on. So as it goes over, you should see the bright lights. There we are. There we are. There's my controller. That's what the controller sees on it. My phone. And if I go up here, there's the drone with the landing lights coming down. Where are you going to land, drone? Go on, go on. It stopped for a second. It's checking something out. What's it checking out? It's coming down. Coming down. Woohoo! Land! There we are. That's not bad. That is not bad. Check that out. And look what's right here. The landing pad. Oh, that's pretty decent. Not bad. All right, final thoughts on the Bugs 12 EIS right here and right here. So it flies just like the Bugs 20 EIS. It flies just like the Holy Stone HS720E. They're all very similar. So I would suggest when you're looking for a drone, find one that's available for you and uh, at a good price. And that's the one you want to pick up out of those three I just mentioned. And the sun has come out again. I don't know what happens. Every time I fly drones, the sun goes away. If I start talking into a camera, the sun comes out. So I've got to figure out a system where I talk into the camera and fly the drone at the same time. Hmm. It's the only way it's going to work with the sun here. I don't know. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have questions on this drone, post them below. I will get back to you. Uh, if you're going to ask me silly questions like, is this a good drone? You watched the video. You saw it. Yes, it's a good drone. Don't ask those questions. And uh, if you'd like to buy this drone, then the links are below. Check them out below where you can find and buy this drone. It's going to be very popular because all the Bugs drones are extremely popular. And this one here is one of the really good ones. So yeah, it's going to be super popular. All right. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see what comes in this box, all the goodies that came in mine, well, guess what? Right up here, it probably says there's an unboxing next. So check that unboxing out and uh, enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye. And now a super fast unboxing of the Bugs 12 EIS. Slide this out. Once the outer shell is removed, you're left with this. And we can open it up like this. It's magnetic. And what's inside? Top portion. I've seen these before. Top portion is going to be the props and maybe some documentation. Let's take a look. I'm wrong. There's no props. It is the documentation and some stickers right there. Now we're left with the drone, a spare battery, the controller, and some accessories right here. So let's take a look at everything piece by piece. First item to take a look at is the drone itself. A little bit of weight to it, and that's because of the battery, but not super, super heavy. So uh, let's unfold it and see how everything looks. There we go. It's fully unfolded, and it looks like that. Not too bad. And they even put some writing on the arm here. I guess they're pretty proud of it. It says it's at 4K EIS, Electronic Image Stabilization. 4K at 30 frames per second, which is pretty decent. 130 field of view, 130 degree field of view. That's the camera. And over here, one over three, I assume that's the sensor at F2. F2 is not too bad. It just means it's pretty good for low light, but not super good. If you go 1.8 or less, then it's even super better for low light. And it's a 2.8 millimeter lens. So it does look like it has indicator lights here under the rear arms and right here on the forward arms. We do have brushless motors, which is top quality and foldable props, easy to come on and off. You will have to use screws to get these on and off so they stay on tight. Let's take a look at the drone from the top, the sides, the back, and finally the bottom and the front. So on the top here, you can see we have our indicator lights and we have our power button. Press that. You see a little blue light. That's how much power is remaining. If I hold it down longer, I'll power it on. Let's go to the side right here. That's how you're going to charge up your battery. You'll take it out. Put your USB-C cable in there. One is going to be provided and charge it up and it should take, well, several hours to charge. Let's go to the back. On the back, we see utterly nothing. Let's go to the other side. On this side, we see you can put a micro SD card right here. And it says, please use a class 10 micro SD card or above. Next, we take a look at the bottom. Let's see, we have our optical flow sensor there. That's perfect for flying indoors or just for hovering. Next, we have our landing lights right here. LED landing lights. I'll take the plastic off that. Coming down, we have some venting. And going to the front, we have our camera. Let's flip it over and take a look at our camera. You can see the camera is not a one-axis 
Axis 2 Axis or 3 Axis gimbal camera because there is no real gimbal on it. There's only dampening right here because it's electronic image stabilization. So electronic image stabilization means digitally inside the sensor is larger than what you actually get on your video. So having a larger sensor, it means when the drone does this or this, the sensor being so large is only using the image in the center and can keep it quite stable. So if your drone does this, it stays stable. If your drone does this, it stays stable. As long as the wind isn't knocking it too much like this, then you're pretty good with electronic image stabilization. To remove the battery, press in that button and the button over here, press them both in, pull straight up and your battery comes off. The battery is a 7.6 volt at 3400 milliamp hours. All right, the battery's in the drone. I folded it all back up because I'm gonna plop it down on my little scale to weigh it. And let's see what it weighs. 558 grams total. Also included in the box in my kit is a spare battery. I don't know if they all come with two batteries, but mine came with two. Next item is the controller, and this is a very common controller. I've used this many times. You power it on, it has a very nice display. You see everything you need to see. I'll turn that back off. All the buttons are nicely labeled on the front. The joysticks feel really good. These arms fold out so they fit in your hand. You can hold them tight. Back here is where you're gonna put your cell phone. You just pull this, chunk, and your cell phone fits in there. It's very good. On the front right here, you have one button that moves, and this one doesn't move. That's just for show. So in this button here that's your jaw control for your gimbal and on the bottom you'll see that you will have to put batteries in here and it takes two double a batteries and they are not included now i don't know if there's enough power left in here to show you this next part so let me try this i'll power it on let's see come on so i got going on when you receive this drone power it on and then take your controller leave it off and then go over here to power it on but before you push this power button hold the red button down and then power it on and what that does is it causes this controller to bind with this drone. You only have to do it once, the very first time. After that, everything's great. And you know you've done it correctly if you see the power for the drone and the power for the controller both showing up on your controller. All good. Other items in the box would be a micro Phillips screwdriver. You can barely see it through the plastic here. I'm not gonna open it because I have like a thousand of these from every drone I receive. And a USB-C cable that you can use to power up or charge up your battery. You also receive a full set of props. These will be your A props and those are your B props. And inside these bags are also the screws that I showed earlier that you just screw your props into your drone. So you've got a nice set in case you damage yours. And this, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my review of the Bugs 12 EIA. Yes. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions on this drone, post them below and I'll get back to you. If you'd like to buy this drone, the links are directly below this video in the description box. Check them out. The price is probably pretty decent. And if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that very much. And I will catch you in future reviews with many more drone reviews. Take care.